And we are back to keep working on the knife. The other day off camera, I went ahead and finished filing the bevels in. Because I thought it was kind of getting boring just watching me do only filing on the bevels for uh, several videos straight. But I went ahead and got those done. Now, however, I have to go to the grinder and grind off a lot of what I've just done because, see how it's scale? Well, it's too deep to get out with a file in a timely fashion, especially that bit right there. So I'm going to have to grind it out some to thin the knife down and get the scale out, and then I have to refinish those bevels. But, oh well, means it's going to be a nice knife, so let's get down to it. Alright then, so, got the flats all cleaned up, I think it's looking pretty good, but now, I'm gonna flip it around, and I, you can see I've marked there roughly where I want some finger wells to be, so I'm gonna clamp that in the vise here and start filing those in, and hopefully it feels good come the end of the uh, filing, so, get down to business then. So I'm gonna call it there for today. I got some good work done. I got both flats nice and cleaned up. I defined the bevels a bit better on the grinder and reestablished those false bevels because those pretty much vanished while I was uh, cleaning up the flats. Got the tang cleaned up some. I filed in nice. No, don't look at me. There we go. Filed in a nice finger well for one finger and filed this big gradual swooping one for the R3 fingers, feels pretty good. And then, right at the very end, I went and filed in a choil, which is pretty much just there to uh, show you where you stop your cut as you're using the blade. And it also makes it easier to sharpen the rest of the edge because you don't have to worry about this plunge line right here getting in your way. So, got some good work, good work done today. But I'm gonna be calling it there because today is my last in-person welding class for this semester. I like to get some rest because I got a lot of work to do tonight. So, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to see our future videos and to see how this project turns out. And that's really all for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time.